CBS, welcome home. Hello! 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 Boy, where's my boy? Oh, he's in his room playing. And how's my boy? Fine, huh? just fine. <laughs> Didn't you have a good time, sweetheart? Yeah. That was great. It was yeah. perfect. Oh, Let me take this and show him what we got. <laughs> and what about you? Did you have a good time? I did. Yes. My horse won the race, Mom. Oh, that's terrific. That's terrific. Hank's got two more horses he wants trained. He's paying top dollar. I'm going to bring him here to Oakdale and train him right here. Oh, that's wonderful. So, now, tell me the important part. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you and Lily, did you find little, little romantic spaces oh, to Mama, slip off Mama, to? Oh, don't do that. Do what? It's too weird talking about that stuff to you. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I don't want the details. I mean, what kind of a snoop do you think I am? A thorough one. Oh, for God's yes. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Lily and I, we are good. You're... You're good. Yeah, everything's great. It's really great. She was calm. She was happy. It's the most relaxed I've seen her oh, since she got out of jail. She looks radiant. We really needed this time away. It was good for us. You can have time whenever you want. You know, I, I'm here and I can take care of Luke. You can have time whenever you want for... Time. For whatever reason. Uh, any particular time you have in mind? Well, the... A honeymoon, maybe? I wouldn't go that far. Oh, thought you do, do, you know, do go that you far. You should get together, you know that? You guys, you just realize, you, this means we're on the same side. Well, you're not going to discourage me that quickly, so no, no. Now, does, does it mean that I should, I should get a new dress, or? Maybe soon, and this oh. time away, it helped Lily answer some questions she had about getting married. I, I think soon, I think she's going to say yes. You really mean that, you think? I think <laughs> Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Grandma lets you sleep with all this stuff, huh? Does she? Let me look at you. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh! You look so big, I can't believe it. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Was it like a foot? Did you grow like a foot? Yeah, you probably did. Did you have fun with Grandma? Yeah. You did? That's good. Well, guess what we got you? Huh? I got your prison. I'm holding that for you, too. You know what this is? What? It's a saddle. Yeah. Yeah, for a horsey. Look, 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 hold on. Let me show you. See, I'll put it on little cookie over here, but one of these days, when the real cookie gets nice and big, you can ride the horse. See that? That's how it goes. Holden got that for you. You like Holden? Yeah. I love Holden very yeah. much. Listen, oh. come here. I want to ask you a question, okay? Got to give me an honest answer. How would you like if you, me, and Holden became one big family. Um, I would like that. You would? Yes. Well, that's good, because that's the way it's going to be. Real soon. Promise. You're looking better every day. At least your body is healing. How are you feeling today? I think it's time for you to tell me what else you remember, Damien. No, no, no. None of this will harm you in any way. In fact, I'll, I'll make you look like a hero. You said yourself that I can make things happen. Well, I'll continue to make things happen. I'll make things happen for you, David. You just tell me what you want to achieve, and it's yours. It's done. You're serious. You know I'm serious, and you know what I'm capable of. You just trust me. Trust me this one last time, and I promise you'll never regret it. In fact, you will thank me for the rest of your life. Come on, David, show me. Show me what you're made of. Show me that I didn't mistrust you. Let me go. Mr. Stenbeck, I am going to throw you in jail and then I'm going to throw the book at you. As the world turns. You won't, you won't do this. <laughs> you won't arrest me. You've been counting on that, haven't you? How can you possibly throw away everything that I'm offering you? Easily. David, David, please. I know, I know you think that I have misled you. Well, there's an understatement. There's a reason I've had to be so secretive. Tell me about it. 
I wanted you to have my wealth, and my knowledge. I wanted to give you every advantage in the world. But I never wanted to put you in this position. Now, Mr. Stembeck, I think you have me exactly where you want me. You want a detained prosecutor. No. But it didn't work. The police are on their way right now. Here? That's right. And no matter what you say, you're not getting away. David, the money, the power, everything that I had planned for you is yours for the taking. There's nothing illegal going on here. There will be no consequences. No consequences? That's right. That's right. Look, you just, you just let me go. Tell people I was gone when you, when you got here. No one will know. There is nothing to connect you to me. Oh, sure there is. You're going to jail. I'm going to be the man who puts you there. How can you abandon a relationship that will fulfill your wildest dreams? We don't have a relationship. And watching you try to buy me and begging for your freedom, it's making me sick. I'm begging you for your future. Your destiny has to be fulfilled. My destiny? What the hell are you talking about? Your rightful place in the world. My place in the world? What do you care if it's not to help you? David, there are reasons for everything that I've Save done. Save it. I don't care what your reasons are. David, please. I said forget about it. There is nothing you can say that will change my mind, sir. There's one thing, one thing that you don't know. There you are. You're getting so big. <laughs> you look just like your father. Hello, here. How are you? Good to see you. My little man. Finally. What? No best foods. There are ordinary sandwiches. Ooh, what a thing. I love this. And then there are extraordinary sandwiches made with the rich, creamy, unmistakable taste of best foods real mayonnaise. Bring out the best foods and bring out the best. There's Grandma's sweet cheeks. The pregnancy test said we were pregnant, was ecstatic, ran in, told my husband. Later we come to find out that we weren't pregnant. When a home pregnancy test fails, the reason can be simple human error. And I was devastated. EPT is designed to help eliminate human error. Only EPT has an absorbent tip this wide, along with a sealed splash guard to make it easy to use. You're thinking, oh, this is going to be the month I'm pregnant. And I wasn't. EPT. So accurate, we call it the error-proof test. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Hey, Shakespeare, would you write a TV sitcom for a Klondike bar? Methinks not. For that chocolatey coated ice cream loaded big and thick, no room for stairs. Mm. Enter precocious punk. <laughs> what you talking about, Willie? What would you do for a Klondike bar? We're for our new Klondike Choc Burger. Vanilla ice cream, a chocolate cookie, peanuts, and caramel. Get <laughs> I start every morning with ginseng. I've taken garlic for years. I remember my ginkgo biloba every day. Only Nature's Power Ginkagen combines ginseng, garlic, and ginkgo. New Ginkagen, the only supplement with all three in one. When you use Pam, the food gets all the attention. Because Pam never adds a funny aftertaste. Clean, 100% natural Pam. Taste the food, not the spray. He loves it. He does. Yeah. I told you he was too big for that stuffed toy you wanted. I know, I know, but I'm not a big enough girl to saddle the horse, so I said you're going to have to do it. Luke wants to see you. All right. Here I come. <laughs> oh, my angel. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching, Luke. Yeah. Was he okay? Oh, we had a great time. Oh, good. He dug a swimming pool. What? <laughs> What? In the side yard. You know, he, it's about three inches deep and about, oh, I'd say a few feet square. You let him dig in the yard. No, no, not in the yard. In the, you know, in that little flower bed that you oh, and I were Emma, working Emma. in. Emma. Well, he, he needed a lake for all his jungle animals. I mean, he had three thirsty giraffes and he had a very, very dirty rhino. You, those petunias were your pride and joy. Oh, you just planted They weren't them. taking anyway. Mm. <laughs> well, we'll place them again next year. You just promise you one thing. If he wants to roast marshmallows, don't let him burn down the house, okay? <laughs> Well, he needed a little spoiling. Just like his, uh, his mama needed a little spoiling. And she got it. Made things very clear. Sorted out a lot. Well, that's good. You know, just because I'm Holden's mama, doesn't mean that you can't talk to me if you need to. You're not just a little bit prejudiced, right? 
Oh, who told? Okay, I confess, <laughs> I confess. I, I love my son very much, and I... I love you very much. And I want you both to be very, very happy and to get married and to make me a grandmother over and over and over and over again. Now, I think that's a very, very objective point of view. It is. Absolutely. Yes, it is, and, I, and I, I'm not going to change my mind, and uh, I'm not pushing. Not pushing. Oh. oh, Emma. So, tell me. Tell you what. Well, I, I know that something's been on your mind these past couple weeks. It's, it's no use. I know you too well. I know you too well. You really needed this time away, didn't you? No, I, I can't. I, what? I, it's, what? I, I just, I feel... I feel terrible about it. But it's over now. It's over. There's no need to bother anybody about it. Now, it's just like you, you know. You don't have to take everything on yourself. Now, if you don't want to talk to me, I... No, no, don't. It's yeah, I, I don't you. mean to push. I just thought maybe if I could help her. I... I've been thinking about Damien. Oh. Well... Well, my precious one, that's... That's only natural. I mean, he, he was your husband after all. A lot. I've been thinking about Damien a lot. I'll be so happy and then all of a sudden I'll think about him. Something pops into my mind, a memory of him, a very strong memory of him. Why now? Why is he there now? Have you... Have you talked to Holden about it? I can't do that. He's been so wonderful and this has nothing to do about how I feel about Holden. I, I just feel like I'm being disloyal to Holden. Well, Lily, you're not. Come on, put yourself in Holden's shoes. Well, how do you think he's gonna feel if I say to him, honey, I've been thinking about Damien all the time. How's that gonna make him feel? He might surprise you. I can't. I can't bring it up, I can't. But it, you know what, it doesn't matter anyway because I only had one thought of Damien at the beginning of our trip and then it just was, it was fine. Well, all the ghosts good. were gone. That's good, that's good. So, don't worry. Holden and I had a wonderful time. There's no reason for you to worry. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> From now on, it's just holding at me. It's hard to say it was real. I don't know what I remember and, and what is fantasy. I think it's safe to assume that whatever you remember is real. It might be. And it might be that I think of the name Lily simply because we planted lilies in this garden this spring. Is that what you think? No. But it's easier to believe. You've seen this woman's face, haven't you? And you've remembered her. Yes. Can you describe her? She has hair like silk. And the most wonderful smile. And her eyes, every time I look at them, I can see her heart, her soul. Damien, this has to be real. <laughs> Very real. So beautiful. You... You know this woman, and you remember her. Don't force me to tell you, David. Don't force me to tell you this. Don't just accept my offer. Let me go, and we'll all be better off. I am not taking a thing from you. I'm not going to let you destroy all the dreams that I have for you. What dreams? You. You were the only reason that I came back here to Oakdale. Well, you are sicker than I thought. I'm begging you, David. I'm begging you. Don't make me tell you why. Come on. You leave me no choice. That's right, Mr. Stembeck. You finally run out of options. So I suggest you take a seat and you wait for the police quietly. Good day. You forced my hand. Now here's the truth. You can't tell the truth. You kept asking me why I was so eager to help you. You, of all, of all people. You said you'd never stop asking me. Ask me now. I've got my answers. Thanks. No, you don't. 
You don't have a clue. Why would I give you everything that I have? I'll tell you, because it's rightfully yours. I'm your father, Dave. Your night to cook. Need something fast? Take a look. Cheese to the rescue. Make a quick Mexican pizza. Tortilla, ground beef, Colby, Jack. Pepper salsa, you got the knack. Cheese to the rescue. Rescue me. Great taste. Come on now. Take a bite. You're one big hit with them tonight. Cheese to the rescue. To the rescue. I predict on Tuesday the 17th, Flight 6 will be delayed and my husband will get heartburn. On Saturday, my son Jeffrey will have diarrhea just as his train leaves for college. Maybe you can't predict stomach problems, but you can always predict the right medicine. Unlike other leading medicines, Pepto-Bismol relieves all five of these stomach problems. On Sunday, his mother will serve linguine and indigestion. I predict relief. Pepto-Bismol. Five stomach problems, one medicine. Those big bulky pads, like I'd spend hours working out just to hide myself in big baggy sweats. Uh-uh. I've got Always Ultra. It's this thin, but it's better, even on your heaviest day. Compared to leading thick maxis, Always Ultra locks away three times the normal amount of moisture. Ultra's super absorbent core traps moisture better to help give you better protection. Not just thin, workout thin, so I can wear whatever I dare. Always Ultra Thin with wings. Cleaner, drier, protects even better. The Vidal Sassoon Academy with news you can use. If your hair does this, it's damaged. Vidal Sassoon conditioners have protein and moisturizers that work to reduce split ends and breakage to help you have this. Sassoon hair, perfect from beginning to end. Introducing a new kind of Fixident. A Fixident with no artificial flavors or colors. Introducing new Fixident Free. Fixident holds stronger longer than any free adhesive or your money back. Guaranteed. Fixident and forget it with new Fixident Free. Tonight on The Late Show, summer movie Skinny from Siskel and Ebert, plus actor Dermot Mulroney. Think about that. Tonight on Dave. Well, you just wasted a half an hour. Yeah, well, it got Amber off our trail. Oh. Now, look, I'm going to set all the, I'm sorry, I'm going to set all the alarms and have Matthew call the security company for more men. Oh, Samantha, don't. It's... What, do you have a desk wish or something? Let me take care of this first. Here, make your call. We'll be right there. Come on, Gabrielle. Answer, damn it. Great. Did you find your other agent? You know, we wouldn't be in this mess if Lucinda had just handed me that microphone. Wow. Let me arrest Steinbeck. Don't look at me. I don't know where she hid it. You suppose she caught up with the DA? She did. I hope that they're nowhere near James, boy. Did you check in with Matthew? Did she... Yeah, yeah. Nobody has seen or heard of her since. And, oh. and where do you think you're going? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Listen, you stay here. You'll be safe. No, no, no. You are not going anywhere. I could knock you over with one hand right now. You are not going to Fairwinds. You couldn't drive, much less try and okay, make fine. it. Okay, I'll have your sister chauffeur drive you, me, okay? You are not going. I'm not going to let you try and kill yourself trying to make this arrest. This whole thing has gotten out of hand, Samantha. Lucinda and David could be endangered. Stenbeck knows we're closing in on them. Yeah, and that is the reason why Stenbeck needs to be arrested, and you can't do it, so let me call Helma. No, no, no more locals. Once I'm gone, just make sure the alarms are put back on. Jack, this I is I'm insane! Not gonna argue this is with insane! You Jump! Say something, son. Do you really think I would fall for that? It's true. That is the most ridiculous lie I have ever heard in my life. Think about it, David. Think about it. Why would I give everything I have to a stranger? Because you needed me. You admitted it. You are a small-town district attorney. Why would I need you, somebody in your position? You've read my dossier. I buy bigger people than you all the time. Because you were here in Oakdale, and you needed someone to control here. You were the only reason 
that I was in Oakdale. Why else would I risk it? Because you had a reason, and I'm sure the cops will help you sweat it out, all right? I'm your father, David. Please accept it. I have parents, Mr. Stenbeck. The Allens. The Allens adopted you. Birth. You were sick as a child. Colic. Difficulty breathing. How do you know that? The family doctor. No way. David. David, please, don't fight me on this. No, no, no. no. You I'm your father. Except... You're making this up as you go along. You want to see your file? No! I started a file on you seven years ago. Seven years ago when I learned that you didn't die at birth. Your adoption papers. I don't believe it. Read it. No, no way. You're trying to set me up again. No. No, you knew, didn't you? You knew. You sat at the dinner table with your parents, and you thought to yourself as a child, I'm in the wrong place. Stop it. You looked at those people, and you knew. You knew I didn't come from these two people. What, and I wanted to be like you? I didn't want to burden you with a Stenbeck legacy. I wanted to help you, and then... and then disappear. Well, at least now you know. You have your answers. Every three-quarter ounce craft single is made from five ounces of milk. How do they do that? At night, when you're asleep, the dairy fairy glides into the kitchen. Dairy fairy? Yeah. And pours milk onto the cheese. Then she uses her magic wand to make it all smooth. Every three-quarter ounce craft single is made from five ounces of milk. That's why it tastes better than imitation cheese made mostly with oil and water. Taste the magic craft singles make. I think that is wonderful. It says here this new Minute Maid Premium tastes like eating a fresh striped orange. Could it be true? Hmm. I don't know. But I mean to find out. Was this extraordinary taste truly like that of a fresh striped orange? I would not rest until I knew. Finally, there came the moment of truth. The taste of this fresh striped orange was like the Minute Maid I'd savored just eight months prior. New Minute Maid Premium. Bite into it. Your mom says Crispix won't get soggy in milk, but I'm still skeptical. Me too, I'm so skeptical. Okay, last bite. Hey, it's still crispy. Told ya. Kellogg's Crispix cereal. Crispy to the end. Told ya. Right now at Payless, when you buy one pair of sandals, you get the second pair at half off. All men's, women's, and kids. The Payless shoe source. Buy a pair, get a pair half off sandal sale. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Deep clean your pores while you sleep. Neutrogena Deep Pore Treatment penetrates all the way down into your pores to clear away blockages and occasional problems. Wake up to a clear complexion with Neutrogena Deep Pore Treatment. My family stopped brushing their teeth. They did. Smart families don't just brush their teeth, they reach with the Reach Plaque Sweeper. Its remarkable bristle tip sweeps plaque even from back teeth. To clean hard to reach places, don't just brush, reach. In the heat of the light. How many more lies are there, Annie? Annie's schemes are blowing up in her face. Blake and Fran both exposed you for the lying bitch you are. And this time... I'm gonna turn the tables and I'm gonna throw the fuck at you. She's definitely going to get burned. Everything is falling apart. So go ahead, girl. Lose your cool on Guiding Light. Think that men know more about medicine than women? Surprising results of a new study tonight. Damien, anything you remember can only be good. It can all help you. Are you very sure of that? How can it harm you? Perhaps I did harm. Maybe that's why I didn't remember for so long. Is that what you feel? That's well, possible, isn't it? What do you really know about me? What do I really know about me? <laughs> You've been here for over a year. If you were an axe murderer or some such, I think we'd have picked up on it by now. 
there are a lot of steps between an axe murderer and a good man. Oh, Damien, I have no doubt that you're a good man. It's not your job to judge yourself, only to find yourself. Now, when you think about this woman, Lily, what do you feel? Sadness. Is that your sadness or hers? Ours. Because we aren't together. I want to see her. I want to be near her. I feel such love from her. Such warmth. You loved her? Yes. Were you in love with her? Well, the person you described could be any woman who was close to you, a mother or a sister. But that wouldn't upset you like this, would it? Now, this, this can't be a relative. No. I wish you were. You've remembered something else? Last night in my dreams, I saw a baby with this woman. A little boy. <laughs> you know, it's okay. I, I think I can make it now. Would you just stop being oh. such a cop and let me see what's oh. happened if you're bleeding? I gotta clean it up. It's my mess. Uh, what? I should have never listened to your sister. It's a big mess. I think one of the, the stitches is ripped again. I can't really tell. Two years, two years we've been at your stomach. Ages, thousands of man hours. And what does it boil down to? Jack, would you, would you just lay still? One, I need to see the one, wound. One crazy broad who, who wants to play games. Ah, and mess the whole thing up. Stop there. I can't see what's happened to the wound. Why, Samantha? Hey, but what the hell was Lucinda trying to prove? Why did Dave and Alan have to make that bus? Well, I don't know, but the important thing is to stop James before anybody else gets hurt. I'm sorry, Jack, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm calling Hal Munson. Hal Munson, please. Well, where is he? Well, what kind of business did he go out on? Well, where? Okay, okay. Well, if he calls in, tell him to call Samantha Markham. It's urgent. Jack? Hal isn't at the station. They said he went out on important business, and I think that if all goes right, David and Lucinda got through to him. He's on his way to Fairwinds. Now, it is okay. Let them take care of it. Important thing is to find Lucinda. Where is it? What? My mother. Who is my mother? Oh, or did you lose that along the way, too? Your mother's name isn't in there. Well, I assume you know it. You have to say goodbye. Tell me. David, your mother... What? what? Go on. Tell me, is she alive? Yes. Well, does she know that I'm alive? Yes, she knows. Well, then where is she? I went to your mother, and I asked her to claim you. Look, if this is some kind of new game no. you're playing with me, I no, swear... No, it's not! And she probably figured out what kind of person you are, the kind of man you are, the, the, the lies that you tell. No. No, she believed me. And I told her the whole sad story, how you were stolen at birth. Then why would she have she left... She said that she didn't want anything to do with you. As far as she was concerned, you didn't exist. <sighs> David, I want what's best for you. I just want you to be happy. No, it's a lie. You're trying to confuse me. All right, listen. We only have minutes here. But I want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I regret that I wasn't there for you to raise you. Then why didn't you just come to me and tell me that from the beginning? Because I didn't want you to be burdened with my name. Were you saying that you did this all for me? You need to listen to me. You don't have time. My helicopter's going to be here in any second. I'm going to have to tie you up. What? I'm going to tie you up. 
I'm gonna tie you up. You, t you tell them I surprised you, I tied you up, I escaped. Nobody will blame you for that. You actually think I'm gonna help you escape now? Are you out of your mind? Do you think I bought this garbage that you're telling me that, that you cared about me, David. that you wanted to raise me as my son? Do you think I give a damn about this? That any of this matters to me? I'm your father, Bull. David. You slept with a woman, you had a baby, and then you forgot about me. That does not give you the right to call me your son. You never tell anybody. Good. Good. Don't say anything. You just cancel your damn travel plans because you're not going anywhere. What? Lucinda, where are you? <gasps> Lucinda? Where are you? Are you all right? To stop itch, get Benadryl cream. It stops itch on the skin surface. Then Benadryl penetrates to block the histamine that triggers itch. Hydrocortisones can't do that. Block the histamine and ditch the itch with Benadryl cream. Supermodel Angie Everhart's legs were just insured for $1 million by this man from Lloyd's of London. He insists she used silk effects by Chic. New rubber grips and fine wires help protect her legs. Silk effects by Chic. Shave safely. He can run the equivalent of 200 miles per hour. Not fast enough. Nothing is faster than Black Flag. Roaches start to die instantly. Black Flag. Ready. Aim. Gone. Nestle Crunch, here I come. Boo. Oh, I hope that worked. White as a ghost. Perfect. Nestle Crunch now comes in creamy white chocolate. Scared you, didn't I? It's new and more fun to munch. I'm home. Hi. Smells good. Yeah. Where are the boys? Sleepover. Now here's a pleasant surprise. Ragu red wine and herb sauce. A pinch of herbs, a dash of Chianti. Why don't you find us a candle? And a taste. A candle. A candle. It's a little more exciting. A lovely meal, a beautiful companion. <laughs> I forget. What happens next? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ragu, red wine and herbs. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Hey, I was reading it. Reading what? The ingredients. Okay, what are they? Crunchy little corn balls. No colors, no flavors, no junky stuff. You didn't read that. Yes, I did. Now kids can get a free Dr. Seuss classic to read with two proofs of purchase plus shipping. Okay, then what does this say? No preservatives. Kicks. Kid tested, <laughs> mother approved. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. On America's night of television, when a witness is threatened by the mob... We're not the bad guy. ...saving her life leads to risky romance. You picked a fine time to fall in love. Early edition at a special time. Then Chuck Norris heads deep into the bayou to a hidden world of danger. Walker! Talk to me, man! A special two-hour walker, Saturday. Tonight, two partners become adversaries over a man accused of killing his own best friend. The prosecution has just gone from speculation to fantasy. But how far will they go? You just asked me to bear my client's throat to you so you could win a case? So we could get to the truth. Jag. Then the Chinatown misfortune is turning Cheech into one tough cookie. You want to sit painting to me naked? Not even if it's signed by Andrew Wyatt. Mash Bridges, following Jag. It's all CBS Tonight. A while back, I was hired to do a Jenny Craig commercial. I was the fat friend. This was me 37 pounds ago. Now, I love my job and everything, but I was tired of being the fat friend. So I called 1-800-97-JENNY, and I lost 37 pounds. Do I look great or what? Lose 20 pounds for just $20 plus the cost of food. Call Jenny Craig today at 1-800-97-JENNY. That's 1-800-97-JENNY. Hey, all you casting directors, need a skinny friend? Sunday at 11, CBS 2 News returns to the scene of a massive raid on the coast of Southern California, where one man says the government took his land. Special assignment, return to Santa Cruz Island. Sunday at 11 on CBS 2 News, bringing balance back to local news. CBS 2 News is online at Channel 2000. CBS, welcome home. <laughs> Luke. 
All saddled up and ready to ride? Oh, yeah. And Mom's <laughs> got to watch him nine more times before he'll let her go. Oh, he missed the two of you? I put a picture of the two of you by his bed so he could say goodnight to you. What about Damien? What? Well, Lily put a picture of Damien near Luke's bed so he could say goodnight to him every night, too. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he does. Does that bother you? No. Of course not. Mama. Look, I'm not gonna punch the walls or run out of here just because I hear Damien's I name. I didn't think that you... Yes, you did. Look, it's okay. Lily loved Damien. And they had Luke together. I wouldn't change anything about Luke. So it's... It's all right? Yeah. And... And you're all right? Mama, I have never been better in my life. <laughs> you know, I have prayed for this day all of your life, Holden. What day? The day that I could look at you and know that you're going to be okay. I'm sorry that it took so long. Oh, will you stop. You just stop it. Don't you apologize. I am never, never blamed you for what troubled no, you. No, but you worry. Oh, you were dealt. You were dealt a very hard hand in life. I mean, after your... After your papa died, I mean, it was hard on all your kids. You were too young, Holden. Papa died too young. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, Holden, you were so, so angry. I mean, there were times that I just thought you'd explode from it. Well, I, I did on, on many occasions. It's a wonder that, that you and Caleb didn't kill each other before you got out of high school. And then... Mama, why, why are we oh, talking about this? It's in the all past. All those days, all those days, Holden, I wake up wondering, wondering where you'd... You know, whether you'd leave, whether you'd be there, wondering what it was that set you off that would... would send you away from me. Maybe I had to go through everything I went through to get to this point. I just wish it wasn't so hard on you. Do you have any idea how, how very proud I am of you now? <laughs> well, you were always proud of me. You never gave that up. Even after the accident, when you couldn't recognize what was happening to me when I... You were my son. You were my son. I made it through because of you, Mama. I could see how much you loved me. But you have to stop worrying about me. Oh. You have to give that but... up. You know, I really couldn't. Until now. Now when I... When I look at you... I... I see more than any mother could wish for. I see the man that I knew and I hoped that you could be. A man who's very happy with himself. Who, who knows how it is to be happy, who knows who he is. And who knows... how very precious any love in this world is. I look in your eyes and I see... I see a man, I see my son, my Holden. <laughs> and just then, just then I saw your papa. It's funny because when I'm trying to be the best person that I can be, I'm trying to see the world through your eyes. Oh, <laughs> oh. You know, you and Lily, you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful life together. And I can't think of any two people who deserve it more. I love her, Mom. I love her a lot. I'm going to make sure she knows that every day the rest of her life. Mama. Oh, no, just let me be. Just let me be. I mean, I have to give up worrying. Okay. I can't give up crying, okay. too. I mean, I can't give them both up in the same day. Well, you just make sure you save some tears for the wedding, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you can count on that, sweetheart. You can count on that. <laughs>
There must be something wrong with Miss Linda's phone. What happened? Well, I, I heard her said hello, and then the phone went dead. Could you, uh, hand me my phone? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Snyder, look, I'm trying to contact... What? What? When? What happened? Where's she now? Okay, make sure there's a guard on her. No, 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 I'll do it myself. I'll get back to you. Jack? I gotta go. D d d you, you can't leave. Uh, you Lucinda, can't leave. Lucinda gets back here. Just make her stay here, okay? I don't care if you have to sit on her. No, no, you can't leave. What happened? I have to. My, my partner Gabriel got shot. Oh, my God. Is she okay? No, she's alive. Barely. But look, the, our backup is with her at the hospital. There's no one covering Stenbeck. And Stenbeck needs to be arrested. You can't do it. I'm calling Hal Munson. No! We don't know where Hal Munson is. Look, this is my call, Samantha. My partner got shot because she trusted me to handle things. I know. I'm sorry. She told me. Gabrielle told me. She said she wasn't going to take the fall if this went bad. And I said, no problem. I'll, I'll take the heat. And now she's nearly dead, and I'm standing here with you. Look, look, you've been shot, too. You can't go to Fairwinds. No. You're not going to stop me. No, Jack! Oh. Ja Jack! Jack! Mm. Okay, all I need is a minute. I think you believe in the game. You're right. You're right. I'm too weak to do this. Yeah, you are. And you need to just stay here and rest. Okay. Do you have any clean uh, bandages or anything? Yeah. Save your breath. I'm not listening. David! David! Look who you are found lurking in the hall. Listen, <coughs> Mrs. Walsh, what are you doing here? It, it doesn't matter. We have much more important things to settle. No, everything has been settled. Do you know this man? Yes, of course I know this man. Of course. He's Everybody, probably a good friend of yours. Everybody in Oakdale knows James Stenbeck. David, all the arrangements have been made for everything that we have discussed. Everything I'm offering you is yours. You arrest me now, and it will haunt you for the rest of your life. What about Mrs. Walsh, huh? What if you escape now? She'll know that I let you go. That's right! I'll take Mrs. Walsh with me. No! Yes, I will. I promise you, David, there won't be any witnesses left. And what do you mean by that? Don't you worry about Lucinda. You wouldn't dare, Mr. Stenbeck. Why not? And you wouldn't allow him to, Mr. Allen, would you? You wouldn't, you couldn't. Why shouldn't he, huh? Why shouldn't he? Why should he care? What have you done but torture this young man Come since he's arrived here in Oakdale? Say something. Oh, why? Along with why should he proposing? care if you live or die? <sighs> Mr. Allen, you know who this man is. You know what he's done. I'm here now. You say. You tell me. Tell me to my face that you're not buying into this. For years, you've heard the debate, Energy. which battery Energy. lasts longer? Recent tests prove that one alkaline brand does outlast the other. Duracell, Duracell, Duracell. <laughs> Better make it Duracell. Introducing something new from Bush's Baked Beans, our new Bold and Spicy Baked Beans. They're made with our secret family recipe, known only to me and one other soul. Hey, who's rolling my beautiful bean footage? So after the brown sugar and the cured bacon, and this is important, they add the cilantro and the... Woof, woof, woof. Uh-oh. Try new Bold and Spicy Bush's Baked Beans. Our secret family recipe is baked into every bean. What's new? Revlon age-defying smoothing powder in your perfect shade. Floats above little flaws, keeps your makeup virtually line-free. Don't lie about your age. Defy it. What's new? Age-defying smoothing powder. Revlon. After I dislocated my shoulder, my orthopedic surgeon recommended a Ruiz KT. It's so potent it has a rapid onset of action. Just 25 milligrams relieves tough pain fast. It's for when the pain won't quit. Potent fast Arutus KT. 
So, Mom, what do you think of your first grandchild? The future president of the United States is adorable. The doctor says she's perfectly healthy. She must get that from me. Ensures complete balanced nutrition to help you stay healthy, active, energetic. Have it as an occasional meal or snack. You know what? What, baby? I really hope I'll be as good a mom as you are. <laughs> Ensure the number one doctor recommended supplement. Drink to your health. Everything was in bloom, all the, the, the dogwood trees and the azaleas, and uh, there was a big white, uh, what was that? Catalpa. Uh, Catalpa trees. And uh, there was this little road right off of Route 40. It goes winding down into this little valley. And, and the road just ends. Yeah. And then you're there. And then you're there. It was so beautiful. Oh. There were willow trees all around. So it blocked the wind, and it made it very, very shady. And Eden Lake. Eden Lake. Oh, it sounds oh. so... So romantic. It was. It was. And it was so beautiful. I mean, the trees just kept everything so private. You could just walk down there, and you know, it was like nobody else could see you. Nobody. So you could just take... <laughs> Do we have any tea, Mom? Tea? Iced tea? Would you like some tea? <laughs> you stay here. Stay here. I've got to make some. <laughs> you stay, you. stay. Thank stay. you. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> what was that all nothing, about? Nothing, nothing. What do you think I was going to do? Get Emma like a play-by-play? -play? You know, I have a little shame. Not at Eden Lake, you didn't. Are you complaining? Not a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Come here. What? I'll show you something. See, right, right down there, right down there, I'm going to plant a whole grove of willow trees and put a lake right in the middle. Oh. Eden Lake Park, too. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. It takes a while for trees to grow, you know. Mm. 20 years at least. You have other plans? No. Mm. 20 years, huh? Oh, what do you think we're gonna be like in 20 years? Hmm. Hmm. An embarrassment to our children if I have my way. <laughs> if you have your way, what do you mean by that? I mean, we are gonna have a lot of kids, but we are still gonna take moonlight swims. Moonlight swims. For the rest of our lives, no matter what. Mm. Moonlight swims. Mm -hmm. No matter what. No matter what. I should weed the garden before the sun goes down. I meant to do it yesterday. Not now, Damien. I like to do it. Well, no, come on. It's, it's not necessary. This is a lot more important. The garden is the only real task I have well, here. It's, I it's just, it's, it's, let's let it go. Please, let me be responsible for one thing, damn it. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I know you're only trying to help me. Well, then let me, please. How long have you been remembering things? A few weeks. The last full moon. It was the first time I was able to be outside to watch the full moon since... <laughs> since I can't remember. <laughs> that was the first time I heard her name. Lily. Yes, Lily. Then the images came to me. Sometimes in dreams, sometimes awake. Sometimes I walk around the corner and I think she's here. And I see her in different houses, different countries even. And always, always the feeling is there. You were in love with her. Very much in love. She was my wife. Are you sure of that? I can close my eyes and hold her hands. You know, I, I, I can feel the ring there. And the baby boy? I saw him last night in my sleep for the first time. I. At first, 
It was a baby, and Lily was holding him. This is a memory, I know that. But then, then I heard a voice, a tiny little voice calling me. And I turn, and this child comes running in, running into my arms. It was a little boy, only he'd grown up. Your son? Yeah. He's my son. I have a wife and a child. We challenged the manager of the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York, birthplace of Buffalo Wings, to let his patrons try KFC's new Buffalo Crispy Strips. Taste this, please. Very good. Not bad. Spicy. They're spicy and crispy like the wings. That's terrific. But even better, they're boneless, all-white meat chicken. No bones. No bones about it, even in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a little KFC. You win some, you lose some. Hey, Jim, look who's talking. Oh. Now try three Buffalo Crispy Strips, two sides and a biscuit, just $2.99. There's one antiperspirant you can trust when you're extra, extra close. Arid Clear Gel. The one clear gel that gives you clear, clean, arid double X protection to help stop perspiration before it turns into embarrassing odor. And when you help stop perspiration and odor, who knows what you might start? Arid Clear Gel. A fresh, clean way to get a little closer. Some thoughts on, should I sleep with it or not? This is a big question. I mean, how long can you really wear a tampon? Overnight? Um, all night. The whole night? A group of leading gynecologists agree that you can wear a tampon overnight for up to eight hours. This, this is good news. And nothing protects better than a Tampax tampon. During the day? Or at night. They're very smart, those gynecologists. Tampax. Overnight. Because it's okay. Sweet dreams. Good night. Tampax. Women know. You love playing with your kids, but it's killing your back. When back pain hits hard, get Dones. Dones is effective back pain medicine. It relieves the pain no matter where it hurts. Dones, the back pain medicine. Meet Max. He's one easygoing guy. Thanks to Carnation Good Start. It's specially processed to help avoid common feeding problems like fussiness, crying, and gas. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. Could I forget a wife and a child? Damien, it's a miracle you're even alive. That, that you remember so much as your name. We don't know how long you were out in that blizzard before we what found What was I you. doing out in a blizzard in the first place? Huh? What kind of a man abandoned his Damien, wife and his child it. to go stop off? Stop it. No, whatever happened out there was clearly not your choice. You were so badly injured, they thought you'd die within the week. But you held on. You didn't so much as 
Let's open your eyes for the next eight months, but you held on. That was your fight. The only fight you had the strength for. And now I have a new fight. Yes. Now that things are coming back to you, you're bound to remember more. Don't fight those memories, Damien. Don't fight yourself. The battle now is... is to accept what comes. How can I accept? I have a wife and a child, and I've left them. Okay, I found some bandages, and Matthew's calling Luke sent us to... No. Jack! Damn it! David, you have to decide. Please, let me help you. Don't listen to him. Don't make a pact with the devil. James, we don't have time for this. The helicopter is two minutes away. I am ending this now. No, you're not ending oh. anything. My job is to protect you. Now, if Alan doesn't want to cooperate, you get on that chopper, and I'll take care of him and Mrs. Walsh. No, you won't. This is David's decision. But is your life on the line? Yes, it is. It's your decision, David. Time's up, David. Decide. <laughs>